Hello, my name is Mr. Netter, and for 10 years, I was a middle school classroom teacher. Um, and to tell you the truth, I miss it a little bit. I miss uh, 11, 12, 13, 14 year olds. Um, they're quirky, they're silly, they're entertaining, and they are either really good students or really mm, could learn and could improve as students. Now. One thing that, that, that made me an effective or good, good teacher was the fact that, well, when I was a middle school student, I was the bad kid. I was the kid that, well, he's not working to his potential. He has trouble paying attention. Yeah, your your lessons are boring and I'm missing foundation. So you're you're standing at the board writing stuff on the board. I'm copying it, getting bored out of my mind. So I'm acting up. And I have no idea what you're talking about. You're talking about past continuous verbs and I don't know the difference between a verb and a noun. That that wasn't the case, but that's an example. I, I, I literally experienced that in the classroom for 10 years. For 10 years, I experienced kids who, well, my lesson that the school or the curriculum was telling me I needed to teach was about, well, past continuous, verbs, and half the class when I asked the question, hey kids, do you know what a verb is? They were like... Huh? No? Well, you can't teach higher end learning if you don't have a proper foundation. Now, the problem is this. A couple things. One, most teachers were the good students and the good kids because they were good at studying. Well, they, mm -mm. they weren't good to study. They just knew how to process the information intrinsically, meaning they were naturally gifted at learning. Not everyone is naturally gifted at the same thing. I'm naturally gifted as a runner, but I can hit a ball with a baseball bat. It's not something I'm gifted at. So, these teachers who are, who, who, who are really, really, really passionate about their content and their profession and, you know, learning, a lot of them don't know how to get in the shoes of, well, you and me because they look at us as bad kids. They're troubled. But we're not troubled. We just are missing something. We're missing foundation. Or the lesson is boring and we don't know how to take what we need out of a boring lesson because, well, we've never been taught and it's not natural to us. So what do we need to do to solve this problem? Well, that's why you're watching the video. So let me give you the trick. You ready? My job in the classroom is to teach. Your job is to be a student and to learn. Ultimately, learning is up to you, not me, you. A lot of the times what I found was the bad kid would be, well, the kid who raised their hand or yelled out, Mr. Netter, why do you have such a big beard in the middle of a lesson? Well, I would take that student aside and say, well, hey, let's work on maybe your questions. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with you yelling out a question, but maybe let's not worry about my beard. Let's worry about what's what we're working on. And then the next day, that same kid might say, when I am teaching, you know, past continuous verb conjugation, the kid might say, Mr. Netter, what's a verb? 
and I can say, huh? <gasps> Very good question. Let's start there. Instead of over here, where all you're gonna do is get a big nothing. Let's build your foundation and get you to learn. So your job as the student, sorry for pointing, is to ask good questions. Ask away, that's your job. And if a teacher says you're asking too many questions, tell them, as long as they're not about the beard or the shirts or the flags, but about the content, then call them out because that's their job. That's my job. My job is to answer your questions so that you have the foundation. You have all of the information so you can, what? well, pass the exam, maybe, or at least be able to use it to write and think. Because thinking and writing and speaking are the most important things. So, the next time someone says, you're a bad kid, the troubled student, say, no, you were just a good student and a good kid, but you don't know how to be in my shoes because you were, you don't know what it's like to be missing foundation. So teach me, let's find it. Let's find the foundation and fix it. So that's my advice to you as a way to, well, become a better student because, well, a student in middle school or high school or university or life, well, we're all just students looking to learn and looking to make a better world. And that's how we do it. When we don't understand something, we ask a question. We got Uncle Google here to help us all day long, every day. So. Have a good day. Thanks for listening, checking in, and ciao.